Good day, sailor. I've been told that you know the missing cabin boy well. Is that right? You talking about Jonas? You bet your stars I know him. But like I've been crying to the nine death winds. He didn't go missing, he was taken. Were you a witness to the event? Yes, I was. Even though I'd had a few tumblers in the belly, I hadn't yet lost my head. The other day, in the tavern, I saw him talking to a well-dressed man, surrounded by some other sly ruffians. And then when we left, him and I, Flavia left a little earlier, you understand? Well, those brutes were there, waiting for him. They just up and took him like that. Grabbed his arms and puffed. Gone. Vanished. Why didn't you intervene? I tried to, believe me. But my legs betrayed me. Wavering they were, and I fell into the gutter. Did you report this to the captain? Unfortunately not. I know all too well what weight my words carry. Even Flavia treated me like a drunken fool. And the captain? No, not telling him that. I still have some pride left, you get me? Did Jonas seem troubled to you, the night he disappeared? Maybe. For sure he wasn't his usual self. Do you know what was on his mind? No. No idea. Why would anyone want to snatch a mere cabin boy? How would I know? Jonas is a gentle boy who keeps his head down. <sighs> you think my story is nothing but mist too, don't you? It's just that I can't imagine a gang of thugs hoping to get a ransom for a cabin boy. Did anyone else see the kidnapping? There was still a small crowd in the tavern. But outside, I seem to recall that regular being there. We play cards with him from time to time. The kind of fellow who plays from morning to night time to be that skilled. But now and again he comes out. When nature calls, you know. I kind of remember his face being there. What do you think about Captain Vasco? He's a just man, who knows his knots. He's well appreciated by the crew. It's a pity that he hasn't much heart for lass known again. Always seems unhappy, our captain. Thank you, Lara. I need to be going. Strange story, this is. Something isn't right here, I can feel it. We need to lift a veil on this. Greenblood! Do you need something? I must leave you.
tavern keeper. I see you're back. Can I pour you something this time? I'm looking for my cousin. His name is Constantine. I believe he was intent on celebrating his departure last night. There was indeed a party here last night, but it ended badly. Whatever do you mean? A brawl broke out. My tavern was shattered, and no one's paid for the damages. I'm sorry. Amongst the rebel rousers, did there happen to be a young man? 20 years of age, hair down to his neck, light brown, blue eyes, quite the talker. I don't believe it. Of course he was there. He's the man that started the fight. I hope you've come to reimburse me. Don't count on me to help you if that's not the case. <sighs> what kind of damage are we talking about exactly? A good half of my furniture was broken into firewood. I piled up the lot over there. Let me take a look. Perhaps it can be repaired. If you can fix it, I'd be obliged. If not, you'll need to pay. That's not a small sum. I need to think about my options. Oh, the father has forgotten to give his son his allowance, it would seem. I need to be off. Farewell. Goodbye. The furniture is in terrible condition. The fight must have been extremely violent. It looks as if it's fixable. I've seen worse. We'll need to build some metal dowels, but once done, we can make them like new. And there you have it. You'd never guess they were once broken. Well then, were you able to repair it all? Yes, just like new. Or nearly. That does indeed look like fine work. You know what you're doing. I would hope. Can you tell me where I can find my cousin now? <laughs> Your cousin is either a very bad joker or a right good fool. He went and insulted a band of ruffians from the lower boroughs. Dangerous fellows. They've a storehouse they operate out of a few streets from here. What kind of business do they run? Several, actually, and they're all illegal and profitable. But you didn't hear that from me. In any case, if you were set on recovering your cousin, I would hurry if I were you. They're not the tender salts. Thank you for the information. Off with ya. Get him out of whatever mess he's got himself into. Seemed like a courageous fellow. Who could down his pint? Anything else? I'm looking for a nought, a young cabin boy who's been missing roll call for two days now. A nought, you say? That's not a lot to go on. There are quite a few that come to my tavern. According to one of his fellows, he would have been taken right here. A kidnapping, in my establishment. You surely jest, or at least I hope you do. I would have noticed. That doesn't hold water. Someone told me about one of your faithful clients. A big gambler, it would seem. I see. An able-bodied man. Passes his time lightening the pouches of sailors coming through. Where might I find him at this time? Here. He would never give away his chair at his table. Anything else? I need to be off. Farewell. Goodbye. Who are you? I don't recognize you. Am I in your debt? No. Have no fear about that. It's for a different reason that I am here. I'm looking for a nought that disappeared two days ago. 
After visiting this establishment, a young cabin boy, two members of his crew accompanied him. Yes, that does ring a bell. I've played with the three of them. What can you tell me about the boy? How was he that night? He seemed rather nervous, as if he was worried about something. Didn't feel like playing, that I remember. And he must have been right to be nervous, if he's disappeared. Tell me what happened that evening. A rich merchant came in, with a band of strong arms. The kind of men you can round up for a few coins, if you catch my drift. They exchanged words with the cabin boy. The kid was defensive, not sitting pretty. And then they finally left. And after that? It just so happens that I did go out for a breather. I needed some fresh air. And I think I might well have seen those same men grab him. But that was none of my business. I wouldn't have thought that they were kidnapping him, if that's what it was. They weren't particularly rough with him. Tell me what happened that evening. A rich merchant came in, with a band of strong arms. The kind of men you can round up for a few coins, if you catch my drift. They exchanged words with the cabin boy. The kid was defensive, not sitting pretty. And then they finally left. And after that? It just so happens that I did go out for a breather. I needed some fresh air. And I think I might well have seen those same men grab him. But that was none of my business. I wouldn't have thought that they were kidnapping him, if that's what it was. They weren't particularly rough with him. Who was the rich merchant, do you think? A jilted lover? A moneylender? No, sir. You are in luck. It so happens that I know the man. It was Sir Fontaine, that merchant. Where can I find him? He has a house in the wealthy boroughs, just off the canal. A stone's throw from the Tulema Embassy. Thank you. You've been immensely helpful. This man is completely owned by his love for the game. Do you think we can trust him? What would he gain from lying? I have no idea. But what would any wealthy merchant gain from holding a penniless child?
death to the others! To my help! And death to the others! Don't you worry now, you'll get your merchandise.
Might I help you, sir? I would like to have a word with Sir Fontaine. He is absent, but the lady of the house could certainly receive you. Enter, please. Oh, I know you. I've seen you at court. You are Lord de Sade. And to what do I owe the honor of your visit, Excellency? I would like to have a word with your husband. He is not here. But perhaps I could be of help. It concerns a delicate matter. We're looking for a missing cabin boy. According to witnesses, he had an argument with your husband before being taken. I see. I am afraid that you have been misled. You seem to have come to the wrong conclusion. The cabin boy you speak of was not taken. He has simply returned home. Excuse me, but I'm not sure I understand. Don't you see, Your Excellency? We got our son back! I am very surprised. Several witnesses confirmed that your... son had a fight with your husband, and that his men escorted him from the tavern using force. If he had joined your husband willingly... Witnesses? In a tavern? And you choose to believe these drunkards over a respectable family? These witnesses are all in agreement, and it's their testimonies that have led me to your doorstep. My son was probably shocked to have found us. My husband and the other men might have simply had to carry him. A gesture that your drunkards must have misunderstood. What was your son doing on a nought ship? Why would they have taken him? It is what they do. Through pacts and contracts, they steal away young children from their mothers. What are you talking about? I would have thought that a legate would know these things. But it is true that you are young and inexperienced. It seems that you have been protected from the turpitudes of our own nation and their terrible allies. This horrible, constant ransoming that they put us through. But I will not say another word. You will have no trouble verifying the details now that you know what to look for. Where might I find your son now? I cannot say, Excellency. You must understand why. Until the Noughts have set sail, we live in fear they will take him back from us. This pact? It sounds like some fear-inducing story. The Noughts wouldn't be the first to recruit through dubious means. Excuse me, madam. But I haven't quite finished my inquiry yet. If you would be so courteous, I would like you to leave. I have told you all that I have to say. With respect, my lady. Greenblood, do you need something? I must leave you. Might I help you, sir? I need to be going. Farewell. 